Hello everybody, Joe Marquez here once again from the Sons of Technology to showcase for you how to make a video your background in a Google slide. And we're going to be using this uh, TikTok in class template to show you how it can be done and to kind of give you uh, an idea of why you would do this. And hopefully this uh, creates some uh, creative juices in your head on how you can use this in class as well. Well, so we have this TikTok template right here, um, and, and I love this because we have the animated GIF of the record and then the music coming up and, and everything else here that the students can use. Um, this image up here is also a masked circle image. So if your students want to come in and they want to replace that image uh, with any image they have on their computer as well, they absolutely can. So if they have an image of themselves uh, right here, it is going to open it and you can if you wanted to change this mask and move this around and there you have your own little TikTok image right up there but the big thing is how do we make the TikTok background an image a video and you can't just bring in a video from YouTube or you can't just record a video um, and then put it in your Google Drive and put it in because the video actually superimposed itself on top no matter where you put it so I want to kind of show you this hack around that we created in order to create the video and and the audio um, as a background in your slide and to do this you're gonna have to use Screencastify. So Screencastify is a great tool and it allows you to actually uh, split the image, uh, the, the video and the audio so that you can do this. So let me show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my Screencastify and we're going to use the webcam because we're going to have the students actually record themselves just like they would on TikTok. And they're going to go ahead and hit record. Hello everybody, this is my TikTok video and notice the video is now going to be behind all of my TikTok uh, PNGs so that it actually shows in the background of my TikTok template uh, in my Google slide. Let's see if this works. So we're going to go ahead and stop this. And it automatically, the great thing about Screencastify is it automatically uploads to the cloud and it's all there and notice it is automatically uploading to the Google Drive but we don't want this video right here because once again if we add this video it's just gonna place it on top of everything no matter where we put it so what we want to do is come down here where it says download and we're gonna download it as two different items we're gonna export it as an audio only and then we're gonna export it as an animated GIF now when I export audio only this video auto, this audio automatically gets placed in your Google Drive you're gonna definitely have to go in and make it viewable or, or uh, usable for all if you're gonna have everybody um, see each other's work and then you're also gonna have to click on the export as an animated GIF um, this will download it to your um, to your physical device your Chromebook or your laptop so you are gonna have to either uh, export it directly from that or import it directly from that or you can bring it into your Google Drive um, either one is going to work and now that our audio has been exported we're now gonna export the animated GIF it's gonna ask for the size I'm just gonna leave it at that and it's gonna export it for us right now and now that we've rendered the animated GIF, we're going to go ahead and click download. So it downloads right to our machine. Now, once it's downloaded to our machine, we're going to go into our drive and we're just going to drag and drop that animated GIF right there into our Google Drive. And once the GIF has been uploaded to our Google Drive, we're going to right click on it and just double check to make sure that we have it shared. Right now it's private only. We're going to make sure we change that uh, to anyone with the link can view that is saved right there and if you didn't want to go through all that trouble you could have just right clicked on it and clicked on get shareable link that would automatically create that shared option same thing here I'm gonna go ahead and click get shareable link and make sure that I turn sharing on now that we've done that we can come back into our um, TikTok and this background this gray background that's actually um, an image and since a gif is considered an image even if it is an animated gif we can just replace this gray image with our animated gif so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna select replace image with uh, the item from my Google Drive here it is the most recent right here I'm gonna go ahead and click on it 
and select replace. Now, once it's inserted, we now have the animated GIF as our background. And notice it looks just like a video. The only problem is we don't have the audio yet. So what we're gonna do is because we not only ripped the animated GIF, we also ripped the audio. So I'm gonna come up to insert. I'm gonna go ahead and select audio. And I'm going to select the audio that goes along with that animated GIF, which is this one right here. I'm then gonna select it. It's gonna insert that audio as a button. Well, you can, you can keep the button right here if you want, or if you don't want it to appear on the, uh, on the slide itself when you are presenting, you can go ahead and just move it off to the side. But the key to this is selecting automatically. We want it, the audio to play automatically. That way it will sync with the animated GIF to create a full video experience. Um, and then when we're done, what we're going to do is select present and we're gonna show you what it looks like in presentation mode. Depending on how many animated GIFs you've inserted and how long they are, it depends how long it's gonna take for everything to load. But do not hit play until this bar has completely loaded. Now once the bar is completely loaded, we can go ahead and select next to see if our syncing of the GIF and the audio actually took place. Hello everybody, this is my TikTok video and notice the video is now going to be behind all of my TikTok uh, PNGs so that it actually shows in the background of my TikTok template uh, in my Google slide. Let's see if this works. So we see that it actually worked and it worked perfectly. The audio and the video synced up together to make a unified video. Now at the moment, this is the only way that I know of of how to actually create a video experience in the background of layered images known as these PNGs. And once again, with this template, your students can come in and replace the text with what they need to do. They can replace their image right up here at the top. They can do all of those to create a great TikTok in-class experience. And please do not stop at this TikTok template. Please go ahead and think of all the amazing different ways that you can use this video and audio hack using Screencastify, animated GIFs, and the extraction of audio to create amazing experiences and amazing products for your students. And hey, having your students create them as well. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below or contact me on Twitter at JoeMarquez70. Thank you so much and have yourself a wonderful day.